Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering Popper playing some Madness Burn once again. I think I played this last Saturday too. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I just want to play it some more. So this is the exact same build I played last time. Basically, if you're not familiar with the deck, <laughs> dog's playing with this toy. Uh, we have a bunch of Madness cards and then we have a bunch of discard effects. And the idea is we're kind of cost efficiently using these Madness cards to burn our opponent down to nothing. And most of our cards that will kind of trigger these madness cards will let us draw some more cards. So just a Rakdos burn build. Uh, that seems pretty strong. I'm not going to go too far over the deck. It's like one of the most popular decks in the format. And it's pretty straightforward. So let's get a game going. Dominaria came out today. Well, the pre-release. It's out on Magic Online. Um, $3.99 for a pack. So, we'll see if it's infected any of uh, Popper yet. I've barely looked at the set, so I don't really know too much about what's in the set. What, uh, maybe we can pull up a... Uh, Spoiler list here. I am going to the pre-release tomorrow. So, while we wait. Uh, yeah, Lily on the Veil reprint's pretty cool. Shiro the Apocalypse is kind of cool. I don't know how good it is, but it's cool. Shivan Devastator? That's kind of cool. Um, the Silverback Elder. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it looks cool as shit. When you cast a creature spell, choose one to straight target artifact. Jamie, look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a land card from among the men of the battlefield tapped. Rest in the bottom line, blah, 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 and gain four life. Yeah. Um, I did pre order four of these dudes from personally for myself. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. They just, it looks like a card that I'm probably going to play. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get those. I have a feeling they might go up in price. I'm not a stockbroker, so who knows what they'll do. Uh, Phyrexian Worm. Trample 6-6 six, six for 5. Additional cost. There's an additional cost to cast green permanent spells. You may pay 2 life. Those spells cost 1 green less to cast if life was paid this way. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a green permanent spell, push plus 1, plus 1 count. Wow, that seems pretty good. Uh, but we're we're popper players, right? Ooh, big spider. Um, we're popper players, right? So what are we looking at for popper? Well, that is a good question. Are we into the commons now? Okay. So we're in a game. I didn't want to open up make MKV. We'll look here in a second. A mulligan. Well, I don't know because we have faithless looting. But I also don't want to really ditch any of the cards in our hand, so I think we mulligan this, right? Yeah, let's mulligan it. Oh, I'm going to keep this. We can create some blood tokens. Probably just going to bottom um, the Vault of Whispers here. I'd rather have a second red source available. Was my reasoning for that. I mean, we are going to create a blood token when, I mean, with this dude, so there's also that. No coverage swamp. I mean, island. Delver is not a deck I've seen in a long time. <laughs> in a very long time. Let's see if they'll offer a trade here. If not, I think I just... I don't know, do I even bother with trying to kill Delver? I'm gonna fire this off.
Do you flip it? Because when I play Delver, it never flips. Okay. That rule still applies. <laughs> Hey, now that's an uncommon. What is this thing? Okay. Again, this is where it's like, I wish I had that. I'm glad I kept a second red source. Um, see what they choose to do here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to target their face. We have another Fiery Temper for this Delver. Eventually. I'm doing this while they're tapped down, so. And then next turn we can Kitchen Imp and Fiery Temper. And Kitchen Imp's actually going to be a really good answer for Delver. Because Delver's a 3-2. Who knows, it might not even flip. There it goes. I don't like the artwork to the Hunt for Anistrad. Mutagenic growth? Okay. Well, we know about that little card now, don't we? Um, what I was gonna say is uh Delver. I don't I like I like the insect the uh, insectile arborition aberration better. I wouldn't say better, but I like it on this card, but the front piece art I really hate compared to the original Delver. Like, that back part's kind of cool, but yeah, that front part I'm, I'm not a big fan of. I still like the bug part of the original Delver better, too. Something we need to keep in mind is Spell Stutter Sprite. Which they can get Fiery Temper with. They cannot get Kitchen Imp with, though. I don't believe... There's a Gal Blast. We know they had the mutagenic growth, but that's only going to help us. So I'm okay with this. If they want to pump the mutagenic growth. We're ahead on the race. No reason to let him just spell stutter here. They scoop it up. Oh, and they left. Boo. Alright. Back to the spoiler time. I'm going to count that as a win. That's what I've been doing. If they leave, like, after mostly a game, count it as a win. Because they've scooped. I don't know. Solve for time. Tap up to two creep. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to read stuff. Go away. I'm not going to like go through everything. Uh, this hand is questionable. I guess we do have the Valderon to filter for another card. I'm going to keep it. If we get a second red source, I'm going to be pretty content with our life. Play the gain lifeland. Do it. Ah, evolving wilds. 
what color are you? Hey. <laughs> like we planned it. We are a burn deck. What's Metalcraft? Is it three? Yeah, so we want to keep that in mind about Gal Blast. Ponder. Kind of green blue deck? You'll see Simic a lot in Popper, I have to say. You don't see a lot of Simic floating around. Faithless looting is interesting. Oh, I'm actually probably going to diss the Vampire's Kiss here so we can turn Gal Blast up to four. play to land this turn there's a strong argument for vampires kiss maybe the galv blast is a greed keep because vampires kiss lets you loot more but i don't know you know what i mean you could always loot more with that faithless looting in the grave what is this thing oh, okay we're gonna get to gain a life i don't know why you just wouldn't play that over Evolving wild to begin with. We just hold this Gal Blast right now. I think it's what we do. They're going to brainstorm, sure. I still don't know what their deck's doing. The only blue, de blue green deck I remember seeing is either Infect or uh, Turbo Fog. I ain't seen very much to bring in. I'm gonna fire off this Gal Blast. I'm just gonna. I don't know what to bring in. <laughs> I don't know what our opponent's doing. Um, gonna run it the way it is. I don't, yeah, I don't know what our opponent's doing. In terms of that. Uh... So this dude might be good, maybe, with two plus one plus one counters, maybe not. Search your library for a basic land card, put on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle the spells, kick, create two white woman. This guy might see play, in popper. Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus three, if it was kicked this turn, gains trample haste on a turn. 
Eh, that could be okay for, I don't know what you cut, but for, uh, infect, uh, gain control of target creatures in a turn on tap that creature. It gains haste to end a turn. If this spell was kicked, sacrifice a creature. Just costs too much, but it's cool. Third creature gets negative two, negative two, ten a turn. If the spell is kicked, that creature gets an additional negative one, a one for each. End. That is going to see play. Well, I don't know, actually, because there's not really like indestructible creatures floating around. That might not see play. Feels like it should, though. When I go to pre-release tomorrow, I don't have any cards. Like, I'm like, ooh, I really want this. The cards, the, literally the one card I've seen so far that I really wanted, I just went ahead and pre-ordered. Damn it. We both went to six. We both going to five. Because I know I sure am. Son of a bitch. Uh, cancel. My reason is because we can fire off fiery temper, temp, temper, hopefully, eventually. I feel like if we go to four... Every fucking time. It, every time I bottom a card, it feels like it's the next card I draw when I mulligan. It's like almost every time. Maybe we can get an idea what our opponent's doing here. Try to draw a card here. Land. Rainstorm, sure. I mean, I'm probably just gonna Alms of the Vein next turn anyway. I'm still really curious to what our opponent's got going on. Ooh, geez, a beat. Normally, when I sit and see this card, it's a uh, Titan. That was a. Uh... Halfway decent draw. All right, we're getting there. Play creature so I can searing blaze it. In all honesty, I might just hold on to this land. Creature time. What is this saying? Okay. Some kind of weird ramp deck. It's another reason why I like Popper so much is there's quite a bit of room for like homebrewing stuff. I'm not a homebrewer, but like I like the idea of being in a format where that's a viable choice. Oh, I 
like I said, I kind of want to hang on to this searing blaze. I think I'm going to. I don't feel like I have any reason not to, you know? Some creature is coming at some point, right? Like, we know that's an inevitability. Oh! So they're Tamir. Okay, not what I was expecting. Um, this could see play. What's this guy? Return target creature card from your graveyard to hand. If you gain. Peer through the depths? One mana taps for six. Okay. This kick return another target permanent card. Ooh. This might show up in uh, Torex. Is our opponent going infinite here? I'm a little bit curious to see what they're doing with their mana. Yeah, I'm a little bit curious. <laughs> Fire blast, got you, bitch. <laughs> um, I'll let them do their thing for a second. Uh, kick two. Eh. A lot of kicker in the common section, ain't there? Guess we'll just see what ends up getting played here. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with all this mana. Grape shot, maybe? Oh my god, is this like Timir Storm? The only thing I can think of. Grape shot even legal in this format? <laughs> I don't even know. I like this card. I just like the art a lot. I like the fact you can just give it death touch. I have no clue what our opponent's doing. I really don't. Well, I was like, you know, I'm just going to look at cards. Let them do their thing. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to be playable? 
I sure don't. That is fucking cool. I don't, that's cool too. I like the artwork to these two guys. A lot. Erg spawn of thrung. Equal to the number of land cards in your graveyard. I have no clue what they're doing. Equal to the number of lands in your graveyard. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Sacrifice land, gain two life. Uh, reach if an opponent controls creature was controlled die instead exile it when you do create a one one sapling okay okay oh Karn's in this set like I still don't understand what they're doing. What's Karn do? Create a tapped power stone token if an artifact with tap uh, pay any amount of mana. Look at the top cards of your library. Mm, okay. That's a 5-5 five, five for 2? Flying. As long as weather control has 4 or more Pyreses counters on it, it's a Phyrexian creature in addition to its other types. Whenever creature you control dies, put a Frexy. Okay, so that's actually got to have some setup. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. So what are we looking at mana wise? All those king lands. That's disappointing. That's kind of cool. That'd be good for Popper. Being a common. And then just regular enter the battlefield tap lands. Those are kind of cool. And then your showcase cards. The stained glass thing. I like the stained glass on the lands more than I do the actual cards themselves. They're up to 14. I still don't have a clue what they're doing. My only guess is Grape Shot. Is Grape Shot... Oh, there it is. Just the tagline look weird. It's Banded Popper, so I have no clue what they're doing. That was my only guess I had. Like, what other storm decks are there? <laughs> oh, you know? I don't even know, like, what other storm decks there are. Let's see if we can find it on Goldfish here. Uh... Not Cycle Storm. I'm positive it's not this deck. Um, well, then who knows? Isn't it a weird thing about all the decks we play against on a somewhat semi regular basis? This is all Goldfish shows. I don't think a lot of people play Popper Leagues, really. I think a lot of them play just the one on one cues. I think there's a lot of like just testing cards out. Ah, they're a mill deck. Gotcha. I don't think they're going to mill me out here, though. Who knows, they might. Oh, 
Oh, poor Jun mid range is all the way down here. Oh, it's like a. <laughs> it's a uh, Bonza deck. It's not even like. I guess it's kind of like what we used to play a lot of. I have no clue what they're doing. <laughs> All right. There you go. I'll give you I'll give you the weather the storm for a million. I'll give you that one. I still think we just run it the way it is. You got to think we were not very optimal in that game. <laughs> yeah, I'll, once you have the weather, the storm to gain like 60 life, I'm like, you know what? You can have it. You got that one. Still don't, I still don't know like what their game plan is. They seem like a weird deck. I st still don't like. There. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. We'll molt random. Ah, oh, lame sauce. I'm going to count it. You know, we, we, we had a, I mean, game one was, I don't know if I'd call it good, but it was a game. Game two was pretty good. It's like, why'd you leave in game three? That's the only downside of doing individual queues rather than leagues is that you get people just bail on you. But um, leagues cost monies. So maybe one day I'll start doing more leagues. But for right now, the practice queues are where I'm at with it. Leagues also take a long time. So that would have to be something I need to consider that... I want to do leagues like they take a long time to go through. And I don't know if I'm ready to commit to two, two and a half hours a session. Oof. I'm going to keep because we can cycle a bunch of stuff, but this is a really heavy hand. Um. Oh, shit. This is probably not the best hand to keep then. Um. Mm. Okay. I'm actually going to lead on Dross Forge. Um, we'll save the lightning bolt and stuff for later. The problem is, yeah. See, the problem is, is like this thing's going to go grow outside of our burn range. So really, we just need to, we just need to try to race them pretty much. It's not going to be like the most optimal thing to do. But I am going to play this Vampire's Kiss now. I was like, I thought it was wanting me to use some mana. Like, I use it. The black and a non-descriptive. Getting a little less likely we're outrunning them now. They don't have trample yet. They are stuck on one mana. We are... Definitely not stuck on mana. Uh, play you. I'm gonna cycle one of you. Probably just ditch this dude. Um. Gonna gal blast her face here. This is one where the edicts are coming in. I don't think there's much of anything else we want to bring in, just the edicts. Burn your face. Okay. Mm. 
Drop him down to six. Come on, I don't have lifelink. Don't you play it. Don't you do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this creatures are getting ginormous, but we still might be able to uh, outrace them here. Sure. Oh, come on. All I got. Do you have the game kill then? Because they're at 10. All they need is one enchantment. One one drop enchantment. Which is most of their deck. So the fact they not auto snapped it off, I don't know. One enchantment would bump uh both the theory armors enough to kill me. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, you got it. Alright, yep, edicts come in. You go out. Okay, yeah, you only hit artifacts, that's what I thought. Um, you can come out. You can come out and <gasps> probably just go out one kitchen imp. Don't like this hand. I'm not crazy on this one either, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and bottom the Deadly Dispute. Yeah, the shuffle. The shuffle gods have not been very kind today. Sure. Got a lightning bolt upstairs here. One land. Son of a bitch. So there's a really strong argument for faithless looting here, but I don't know how good that argument is. I don't want to lose. We're in a position where we lose proactive things to find land. All right, well, we gotta do it this time. Oh boy. Definitely throwing you away. Oh, probably just have to throw away Kitchen Imp. Two. Just soup's disappointing. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Our uh our shuffle our shuffle's not been very good. Maybe we should have went to five, but I feel like in a burn deck when you go too far, it's just impossible to come back. Maybe this deck's got a little bit more resiliency than mono black burn. <laughs> But it doesn't feel great. There's the inferior armor. It's us for five. Sure. Not what I wanted to see. 90% sure we're going to lose this game. Sure. 
because that's also going to be an issue. Then the fiery temper to the face. Uh, we're dead on board, right? No, they can hit us for six. We're not quite dead yet, but we're god awful close. I'm pretty confident we lose this game. Five. Yep, that's it. Wow. It got thrashed there by Mono White Heroic. Uh <laughs> yeah, really got thumped there. Um Don't know. But uh yeah, that's been some more uh Magic the Gathering playing some more Madness Burn. I like this deck a lot. I think it's sweet. Uh got our ass thumped by Mono White. Game two, we did not have a good hand to mulligan poorly. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> there is that to take into account, but, uh, yeah, played some more, more Madness Burn. If you enjoyed the magic content, you can subscribe or like, comment, whatever. Uh, it all help out the channel. If you, uh, want to see any other video games, I play some other games as well. You can, uh, press that subscribe button also in the little notification bell for any time I upload. But, uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see how Dominaria affects the format, if it does at all. So, really the last set that really put in, like, some, like, juice into this set was, uh, Kamigawa. There's a lot of Kamigawa cards floating around in this format, but, yep, I will see y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.